which is on people. You know, yeah. so you've got to change them. Yeah. So you've had to lose a few people. I'll let you lead in first. Yes, a few, and, and some replacements. Um, let's just let's just take stock here because it's very nice coming into a new room just to give a flavour of it. Luke, if you can just do a little gentle pan around for us. This is what? This Ray, is the newsroom. The main newsroom yeah. area. For people who've never been in a newsroom before, the, people are sitting in themed areas. That's right. Area. These are sub-editors. Sub-editors, yep. The news desk is over there. Uh -huh. the reporters here behind us. Yep. And over in the far Features corner. department over there. Around the corner, which you can't see, is the diary. And in the far corner of sort of technical people, colour, studio, uh, layout, operations. Right. Are you happy for me just to have a wander? Because that's the kind of way we like. Sure. I know you're busy, sure. Very good of you to sure. let us in. Okay. I'll leave you for the moment. My pleasure. And we'll head down to the news desk, because Craig just said the news desk is down here, and that's always the hub of activity. And if I'm very lucky, I might, uh, might actually find a news editor. Excuse me, sir. Oh, well, he's Paddy Hagos. Hi. Um, Channel One's on the hoof. We've just, uh, we've just blagged our way into the building, courtesy of your uh, managing editor, Ka uh, Carl. Uh, is it Carl Orr? Craig. Craig, Craig Orr. Orr. beg yes. your pardon. Craig Orr has just let us in. Now, you, what, what role do you play on the news? What role do I I'm the news editor. You're the news editor. Um, so, so, my you... job with my colleagues' help here is to provide all the news for the paper, home, foreign, whatever. We don't decide what goes in. You don't? That's the responsibility of the exactly. gentleman okay. over there. Okay, so you just collate the various themed aspects of the news, do you? No, we collate and we report it, we write it. Okay. We, we either send staff out or specialists out or they come to us or we use freelancers, agencies, whatever. Right, now how, how, how's today running? What, what decisions have you uh, come to thus today, far? Today is running quite well, but it's sort of long before the storm. Why? Uh, because we have a Scott report of this afternoon. Of course. Oh, right, what, what have you done for the How have you filled your early editions? I know I've got one on the street just now. We've got chaos over lottery cash. What did yes, that, that story really that, that actually is a very good story, and that comes from Joanne Hart, uh -huh. who uh, works in our city office. And it's an extraordinary situation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we all think that millions of pounds have been given away, which in principle they have been, but sure. the cash has not actually been delivered. But that story is going to be replaced as the day progresses, uh, because you're constantly updating the paper throughout Absolutely. The um, five editions you produce? Five editions. Between, what, 8.30 and 5.30? The first one closes at 7am, the last one usually at 10 past 4, except today we're going to do six editions. And what's, what's your busiest period of the day? It really depends Stop what me. happens during the day. Right. I mean, a normal day, the morning, is obviously... Uh, rather quicker yeah. because we have to decide what we're going to do for the rest of the day we have to talk to each other we have a conference we do all sorts of sure. things so by and large but then of course you don't know what's going to happen no. in the day that's the nature of news listen we're going to move it on you, you carry on we'll check out the later editions thanks for okay. talking to me for the moment uh, luke if we can just move down here because i always like to look at clocks not that i'm a clock watcher but look at these this gives you some flavor of the uh, kind of international nature of the paper really i mean although it is a london paper it's a paper that claims uh, to be influential rather than national uh, we've got time, interestingly enough, New York and Tokyo are up there. I know one of the claims of the Evening Standard is that it can give you uh, Tokyo's closing prices in its first edition and give you New York's opening prices in its last edition. Excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just checking on the foreign news to see if there's anything there we should be aware of. And is there anything? Uh, well, the late, well, the last was Yeltsin to stand for re-election. Uh, and if you decide that's a runner, what do you do with it? Do you write uh, it up? Send it over to the subs who then shape it and decide which place in the newspaper it should go. Right, thank you very much, we'll move on. Let's move through here, Luke. So he's deciding on foreign news. Look at that. What I love about journalists is they've gone all modern, we've left the hot metal behind, but they're still massively politically incorrect. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's go through here. Oh, I can, look at this, look at this. We've got to have a look at these. <laughs> I don't know what this has got to do with journalism. Uh, this, if I'm not, it, are, these, are these yours? Come here, come here, let me have a word with you. Come round to this monitor, stick one in your hand. Now, come on, what are they? What are they doing? They're beautiful, here? they're objet d'art. Yeah, well, some people would call them This that. is the tax centre. Some people would call them kitsch, and they're deliberately kitsch, aren't Absolutely. they? Yeah, where'd you, where'd Absolutely. Where do you get them from? Everybody brings me them. Everyone in the standard just buys one wherever they go. Well, on domestic assignments or international assignments? Uh, holidays, usually. Right, when you're and, 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 actually, I've got one from Bosnia. Have you? <laughs> Chase the Bosnian snowstorm. That came from Bosnia. Just, just shake it for us. Hold it close to the lens. There you are. You've seen it here on Channel One first, the Bosnian snow. So what's your job when you're not collecting snow? Uh, production. Editorial production. Pr editorial production. You yeah. carry on. We're moving around. Channel One's on the hoof. Thanks for talking to us. Uh, let's have a look over here. Now, if I'm not very much mistaken, this, is, this looks to me like a layout, uh, Luke. Can you just, just get a shot of that front page? This possibly, possibly is one of the later editions today. It's substantially different from the page I've got in front of me. So chaos over lottery cash seems to have been replaced by its reform not sackings and indeed i don't know if you can see this right down in the bottom right hand side of this front page ira hints at more terror there's a lady here on the telephone while she's on the phone i'm going to move along let's go along 
Uh, she's oh, you just hung. Hello, what's your name? Uh, I'm Victoria Summerley. Victoria, what are you doing here? I'm um, production editor. What does that mean? Uh, basically, it's uh, running news pages. Mm. We, we on this desk, we uh, lay out the pages. We choose pictures, choose decide which story is going to go where, decide which story is going to be the front page story. Now, is this the story that's shaping up for the later editions today? This is the latest edition of the Standard Today. Yes, this is with um, the uh, the latest um, in the Scott Report saga. So that's going to come off the presses later this afternoon. That will I know. Look at this. I notice here. Space. Look. Can we just show that a second? Because I, I, that's what I love to see. We've gone all computerized. We've gone all technological. But look, here is a hand drafted layout. Sketched pencil layout. You, you still do those? Do you? We st we still yeah. do them. Yeah. What's the value yeah. of that? Well, if you if you want to show somebody very quickly what a page looks like, it, it takes a while for these to scroll up. And if you've only got a blank page, you haven't moved the stuff in, you can yeah. draw this very quickly. Um, we all we some of us understand what that means. How many new layouts might you do in a day? Oh God, dozens. Dozens, but dozens. only but only five are used. Presume other five editions. Is that right? Um, well, for page one. Yeah. Well, yeah. yes, yeah. but there are many, many pages going with yeah, each edition, so you might do, and you don't always do one page once. If something changes in the middle of the edition, you scrap what you've done and start again. Gotcha. Well, I know it's a busy time for you. We'll move on. Thanks for talking to us for the moment. Lot. Let's, Luke, just come down here. I know on a... I thought I'd seen on the monitor over there a little flash of something that was very personalised to Channel One. And we're going to move out of this news area now, because the critical thing is, as you can see, this is largely computer-driven. Um, the human beings, of course, have to drive the computers, it goes without saying. But at the end of the process, it all has to be put onto newspapers like this, churned out, bundled up, and got out onto the streets. Now, since we're... <laughs> look, look, we've got...